today I want to show you how to use habitat blueprints for building and saving areas of terrain. An easy way to get started with this is to go to sandbox mode. Here you can find all the maps Frontier themselves created for all the different scenarios. Then you can go and explore some of these maps or choose one you know got some interesting terrain in it. You then choose the terrain only option so you don't end up with any scenery in here. I have chosen the Tsunami Roadside Zoo which came with the Australia pack. Here you can see we got a big chunk of terrain in the middle and I would like to save this. I go to barriers. It's always a good idea to start with a gate since we're going to work with terrain and, and placing gates and uneven levels of terrains can be tricky so it's a good idea to just place it first somewhere flat. After this you just choose any barrier and go around the piece of terrain you want. So we have now created a habitat around the big mountain in here. We can now click on the gate to the habitat and choose this icon to save as blueprint. You just give it any name and any description and set any tags you want. These things just needs to be done to create a blueprint if you haven't done it before. But it doesn't really matter what you put here. You can now click create blueprint. You can then either test it in this map to see if it came out as you wanted. And if it didn't you can try again. Or you can go to a new map and check it out. Which we're gonna do now. So I now went into my sandbox to the dry lands. This place can always use some more terrain in the background as you can see I've been working up on here. So we can try and place a new piece of terrain in here and see if we can make it look good. So now I go to blueprints. I go and find the new terrain blueprint I made before. You can see it shows up here. You can then turn it around as you like. And now I'm gonna place it down and see how it looks. And see now I saved myself a lot of time on making this. You can even see the terrain I worked on before is even smaller than what I just put down in a second. Just gonna adjust it a bit. See now we got ourselves a mountain in the background and now we can go and decorate it as we want to. We can even place several of these. If we just turn them around a bit then they might not look like they are the same. And what you can do now when it's placed down is you can double click on your gate, click on this circle and press delete. And now there's no more a habitat around it. And you can of course also do this with much smaller pieces of terrain, even though they don't always turn out completely identical it seems. But overall I think this can be a good way to get some level of terrain into your maps without having to spend a lot of time using the terrain tools. Remember to give this video a like if you found it useful and otherwise don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And then I hope you'll have a good time playing around with some terrain.